All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to our episode number one. This is question number one. How many districts are there in Manus province? A, one. B, two. C, three. D, four. How many districts are there in Manus province? Your time starts now. Baba Roko coming in. What would be your answer for that question? Um, I go with B. B? Uh, for two districts? Yeah? You sure you want to log that in? Yeah. Yeah? All right, I'm going to log in Baba Roko uh, for B, for two districts uh, for Manus. All right, let's check that answer out. This is B. No, it is not correct. A is the correct answer. Manus has only one district. All right, that equates to one, uh, one open electorate member, right, as we know. All right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, you are watching the Think Tank Quiz Show. This is the primary category, question number two. In which province are you if you land at Kagamuga Airport? A, Gulf Province. B, Western Province. C, Medang Province. D, Western Highlands Province. In which province are you if you land at the Kagamuga Airport? Your time starts now. Uh, coming in quickly is Baba Roko. What would be your answer on minus two? I go with A. With A, Gulf Province. Okay, I'm going to lock you in on that one. All right, she thinks it is A. All right, you want to keep that? All right, yeah. Okay, logging you on A. This is the answer now, it is not correct. It is D, Western Highlands Province. All right? This is where the Kagamuga Airport is. All right? If you don't know, this is it. This is question number three. Question number three. What is the stable food of the Maori people of New Zealand? A, English potato. B, sweet potato. C, cassava. D, taro. What is the staple food of the Maori people of New Zealand? Your time starts now. Koki, uh, I'm going to look in D. All right, Koki uh, wants to look in D, Taro, right? Uh, you sure that is the answer? You want to keep that? You landed at school, Taro, okay? So for question number three, I'm going to look that in for uh, Koki. Uh-uh, it is not the answer. The answer is B, sweet potato, all right? Just like some of us, uh, sweet potato is also the stable food of the New Zealand Maori people. All right, this is question number four. Which biblical hero name means splendid son? A, Joseph. B, Daniel. C, Noah. D, Samson. Which biblical hero name means splendid son? Coming in is Koki Primary on minus two. Uh -huh. I think I'm going to lock in D. You want to lock in D, yeah. Samson? Yeah. Yeah? What makes you choose Samson and not Daniel or Joseph? <laughs> what? You like Samson? You believe in Samson? Yeah, I like Samson. Okay, you like Samson. All right, let's go for that. All right, let's check that out. Samson for the years, correct? <coughs> D is the correct answer. All right. That was two points to Kaki Prami. We now move into question number five. This is question number five. In the Bible, who was Adam and Eve's youngest child? A, Cain. B, Abel. C, Seth. D, Josephine. In the Bible, who was Adam and Eve's youngest child? The time starts now. Coming in is Baba Roko Primary on minus four. What would be your answer? Goes with A, Cain. Yeah? Yeah. You, you believe Cain is the youngest child of Adam and Eve? Uh, no, sorry. No. B. Yes or no? No, B. I go with B. B. Yeah, yeah you're going to go for B? Yeah. All right, I'm going to lock uh, Harry in on B for Baba Roko. All right, let's check that out for B. Uh-uh, it is incorrect. The answer is C, Seth. All right, Seth was one of the other children that Adam and Eve had apart from Cain and Abel, all right? So Seth was the answer. And that was incorrect. We move into question number six. This is question six. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching the Think Tank Quiz Show. This is the primary category. We are on round number one. This is question six. How much does a liter of water weigh? A, 0 0.5 kilogram. B, one kilogram. C, 1.5 kilogram. D, two kilogram. How much does a liter of water weigh? The time starts now. Coming in is Koki Primary on three points. 
I think I'm gonna log in B. You want to log in B? You you landed at school? No, not in a maths class. You do, all right? So you sure it is B? All right, I'm gonna log you in for that one. All right, let's go for B. Correct, B is the answer. All right, one liter of water weighs is equal to about a kilogram. All right, this is question number seven. Identify this person in the photograph with a caption saying our hero. A, Sir Paul Lapun, B, Matthias E. Jappe, C, Sir Peter Lewis, D, Sir Imbake Okuk. Who is this person in the photograph? This is question number seven. Coming in quickly is primary. Uh, Koki primary on eight points. Uh, I think I'm going to look in the same book. Sayan Baki Okuk. Sayan Baki Okuk, you mean D? D. D as your answer. Are you sure? You look at the person again in the photograph. You sure this is Yambake and not uh, Matthias Ejape? No. I think it's um, Yambake. Yeah, you sure? Yes. Okay, I'm going to lock you in for that one. All right, let's go for that. That's the answer. That's correct. D is the answer. Say Yambake Okuk, all right? We have Koki Primary leading on 13 points and we move into question number eight. This is question eight. Which mineral has the highest carbon content? A, gold, B, copper, C, nickel, D, diamond. Which mineral has the highest carbon content? Your time starts now. Babaroko coming in. Samantha, on a zero point, well, minus six points. What would be your answer? Um, I go with C. You go with C? Nico? Yeah, you sure? No, A. A, you change your mind. It's yeah. not nickel, but it is A. For which mineral has the highest carbon content? Yeah? All right, I'm going to log here in for that one. All right, let's log that in. A, uh, uh, it is not. The answer is D, diamond. Diamond has the most carbon content, all right? Let's move into question number nine. This is the second last before we take our first break. This is question nine. What color makes purple? A, red and blue. B, red and green. C, blue and green. D, yellow and blue. What color makes purple? The time starts now. Koki Primary coming in quickly. I think 13 points. I think I'm gonna lock in yellow. You're gonna lock uh, in. Sorry, D, 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 Ye yellow and blue. Sorry. You wanna go for the yellow color, which yeah. is D. All right, so he wants to choose D for yellow and blue. All right, this is question nine. Are you sure you're going to log that in? All right, I'm going to uh, lock you in for that one. Let's check it out. Yes, correct. All right, D is the correct answer. It is yellow and blue. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the final question for round number one. All right, this is question 10. Coming up, what's the smallest type of tree in the world? A, cedar, B, gum, C, bonsai, D, fancy penny. What's the smallest type of tree in the world? Time starts now. Pocket Primary coming in on 18 points leading. If you go on and get this right, you're going to add on 5 points and your score would be 23. If you make a mistake, you're going to lose 2 points and you're going to drop down to 16 points. Your take? I think I'm going to look and see bonsai. You want to go in for C bonsai? Yep. All right. I'm going to log you in for that one. Okay, let's go in for C. That's correct. C is the correct answer. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of our first round. These are the scores up. Leading on 23 points is Koki Primary, uh, followed by New Erima on zero points and Baba Roko on minus eight. All right, we're going to take a quick break from here. And when we come back, we're going to begin round number two. We'll see you right after the break.